What's good, sports fans? My name is Damian Adams from The Real Deal with Damian Adams. Please hit that subscribe button for me and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of this great content. I would truly appreciate it. I think you would appreciate it as well if you will enjoy the content. Please follow me on all social media platforms at The Real Deal WDA and all that good jazz. And today I'm coming to you with my reaction to the Portland Trail Blazers defeating the Boston Celtics 97-92. The Portland Trail Blazers have now won five games in a row and the Boston Celtics have lost four in a row. And right now you're wondering what's wrong with the Boston Celtics. Well in this game, it wasn't their defense. You hold Portland to 97 points, you did what you were supposed to do defensively. As Damian Lillard was the only person on the Portland Trail Blazers to have over 20 points as he balled out. Damian Lillard is good. Like he's one of those dudes that you just got to sit back and say, that boy good, right? He's in that stage of his career where he still has his great athleticism from being young, but the game has slowed down for him. He knows exactly when to pull up for the deep three. He knows exactly when to drive. There's been a couple times in this game where it was end of quarter where he knew how to go exactly 94 feet and get the layup right before the buzzer. He just has total control right now of the game, right? CJ McCollum didn't have a monster game, but he was pretty good in this one as well. And the big thing for Portland in this matchup, outside of Damian Lillard, was Yusef Nurkic. He dominated down low. His stats might not be dominating stats, but when he got the ball in position, there was nothing that Boston could do. You know, Al Horford's a great defender down there. But for most of his career, we forget that he played power forward. He's not a center size guy. Even though he does a good job against centers. We know that he does a great job against Joel Embiid. He's done a great job against other centers. But, man, Nurkic is down there just beasting with the size. And that's where you saw the missing of Baines for Boston Celtics in this one. As they didn't have that size matchup for Nurkic down there. For Boston offensively, man, where is that second option to be consistent with Kyrie? Kyrie balled out today. You had a classic Kyrie game, but where is that second option? No one else was able to step up. That's supposed to be Jason Tatum, you know, or Gordon Hayward, right? But we know Gordon Hayward isn't the same guy he was pre-injury. So you're depending on Jason Tatum to be that guy for you, or it could be a collection of parts. But it seems like that collection of parts is too much to where it's messing up the chemistry. And they haven't been able to find out who's supposed to be that second guy behind Kyrie. They need Jason Tatum to stay, to step up and be that main guy. But right now we're not seeing it. For Portland, we all know what it's about. Can this work in the playoffs? We've been saying for years they need another wing scorer. We saw last year what happened when their two guards aren't able to go off and dominate, right? And New Orleans up in the first round. Now, this year, they won't have to worry about New Orleans. But it'll be a different team that they have to worry about. And will that same formula that New Orleans showed last year work this year against them? So, as good as they look right now, we can't really judge Portland until the playoffs come. But Boston, they look bad. They look really bad. They're supposed to be the best team in the Eastern Conference right now after going to the Eastern Conference Finals last year, getting back Kyrie and Gordon Hayward. I just... You can't really put a pinpoint on one thing. I know tonight it was offensively. They didn't have that second option, that second guy to step up for them. But we'll see going forward what happens. If they get that fifth seed, they can run into either Indiana or Philadelphia in that first round. And Indiana, even without Oladipo, is playing great. Philadelphia, for some reason, just can't get over Boston. So they might still have a favorable first round matchup. We'll see. But man, Portland... They did a great job tonight. They just do such a great job executing their offense, pick and roll, getting Damian Lillard and McCullum into favorable situations. Just love their offense, but again, will it work in the playoffs? For Boston, they better figure out what's going on and get on top of it. All right? But please let me know what you thought about the game in the comment section below. All right? And until next time, go real or go home.